Hi, this is Aaron for BandLab, and in this video we're going to make a synthwave beat in BandLab's free online DAW. You can open this project yourself with the link in the video description, and if you find this guide useful, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be the first to know when new videos drop. I begin by setting the project tempo to 124 BPM and setting the project key to A sharp minor. I want to start by making a beat with that classic 80s style drum machine sound, and for this, I select the Prince kit. I add kicks on the first and third beats of the bar, and snares on the second and fourth beats. I put closed hats on the first two sixteenth notes, followed by an open hat. I duplicate this out for the rest of the bar. To duplicate notes and clips in BandLab, hold Option on Mac or Alt on Windows and drag them over. I duplicate this bar out for the rest of the clip. This beat has the right vibe, but it's missing something. That classic 80s snare reverb. I want to add reverb to the snare, but not the kicks or hats. So I make a duplicate of the drum track by right-clicking it and selecting Duplicate Track. On the original track, I delete the snares. And on the new track, I delete the kicks and hats. So now I have the kick and hats on the first track, and just the snare on the second. On the second track, I open an effects panel and add a reverb, studio reverb effect. I set the mix to 8.3 and the size to 3.6. This reverb setting has the big feel I want, but the reverb tail is too long and makes the beat sound less snappy. I can remedy this by adding a gate effect after the reverb. I add a Dynamics Noise Gate effect and set the threshold to around negative 32 dB. Now the snare doesn't sound as upfront as the rest of the drums so I decide to add a compressor. I add a Dynamics BL1176. I balance the drum elements by turning the first track's volume down to negative 2.5 dB. These drums give me a solid foundation for the project, and the next most important element is the bass line, which will drive the track. I add a new virtual instrument track and select the Fancy Bass Instrument. I sequence this to play on 16th notes, with the first two notes playing the tonic of an A sharp, then going up to the perfect fourth and the perfect fifth. I duplicate this out for the first two bars. For the next part, I take the bass line down a couple of semitones, then return to the original pitch for the final two beats of the four bar sequence. I turn this track down to negative 3 dB to balance it with the existing elements. Now I'd like to add a part to harmonize with the bass line. I select the string pad and program this to play an A sharp with a perfect fifth for the first three bars, followed by a G sharp and a perfect fifth for the final bar. I want to smooth out the top end of the pad to help the high end of the drums punch through the mix, and this will also help any lead elements I add to sit in the mix more easily. So I add a tone, multi-filter effect, and set its frequency to around 800 Hz. Oh. 
I set this track to negative 9 dB. Now I want a simple lead. I'm going to go to a slightly larger than life wavy feel, so I select the tape saw instrument. This has a prominent lazy vibrato that's more reminiscent of vaporwave than authentic 80s synth music, but it definitely works with our synthwave vibe. This plays an extremely simple part, just A sharp, D sharp, and G sharp. I want to ramp up the atmosphere, so I add a studio reverb effect. I want to bring out the high end of this sound, so I add a multi-filter, set it to high shelf mode, then set the frequency to around 1600 Hz, and turn up the gain to about 6 dB. To balance this element, I turn it down to negative 0.5 dB. By this point, I'm itching to add some classic 80s synth tom sounds. I want these to play at the very end of every 8 bars, so I duplicate the existing elements out, then add a new instrument track and set it to the Chill Wave Kit. I program a simple high, mid, low tom roll at the end of the 8 bars. Again, I want this to have a slightly larger than live feel, so I add a studio reverb. To bring the toms back to the front of the mix, I add a BL1176 compressor. Now they're a bit too loud, so I turn the track down to negative 5 dB. I think the toms would sound good leading into a crash symbol, so I open BandLab's sample library, click the loops tab, and enter crash into the text search field. I drag silver yacht crash into the project. I add a studio reverb to this track and turn it down to negative 3 dB. To take this beat to the next level, I'd like to add some epic guitar. In the sample library, I enter lead into the text search field and set the instrument's category to guitar. Fist pump lead guitar 1 is the vibe I'm looking for, so I drag it into the end of the 8 bar loop I've created. I add a delay, de-delay effect, turning the wet level down to 20. I set this track to negative 1.5 dB. I'd like to add another guitar part, and this time I opt for Grunge Punk Lead Guitar 11. This part has too much stereo movement for my liking. So to make it mono, I add a modulation Vibe 2 effect, turning the amount down to zero. To give it a more consistent stereo width, I add a stereo reverb. I add a BL1176 to make the track's volume level more consistent, then turn the track down to negative 2 dB to balance it with the other elements.
with the arrangement, I begin with the beat and pad. Next, the guitar is added. In the next section, the guitar is swapped out for the bass. Then the synth lead is added, with the first guitar part leading into the second in the next section, where the synth lead drops out. In the final section, the guitar and pad drop out, with the synth lead making a reappearance. Remember, you can fork this project and make your own version of it using the link in the video description. Have fun!